today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bikini barista bag video. So I got my bag right here. And for those of you who haven't watched my videos before and don't know what a bikini barista is, long story short, it's basically like a Starbucks worker, but you're in like lingerie or bikinis or just really sexy outfits. So this is just like what I carry with me on a daily basis when I go to work. Okay, so this is the bag that I bring. It's nothing fancy. A lot of the girls that work here, they do bring like really fancy bags. Like they'll bring their Gucci or their Louis or their MCM backpacks. I prefer to bring something simple just because there have been break-ins before and that would really suck if you bring like your expensive ass bag and someone steals it, right? So I just bring something that I don't really care about because also Sometimes, you know, it's a coffee stand, so it can tend to get dirty. So, yeah, as you can see, I have wear and tear on mine. There's, like, stains on it. And the reason it does get dirty as well is because some of the stands are, like, super tiny, so you don't have anywhere to put them but the floor. So, yeah, this is the one I bring. Pink, simple, Steve Madden. Comes with, like, a little whistle um, in case you need some help. <laughs> Which doesn't even work, so you better know how to whistle on your own. Okay, so let's open her up. The first essential thing in bringing with you to work, um, I guess some girls bring like a full makeup bag. Since I, I start at 4 a.m., I do do my makeup at 3 a.m. Like, like how my makeup looks like right now, that's how I do it at 3 a.m. So the only things that I bring with me are highlighter, and it's not even for my face. I use this for my body. I take this one, and it's just like a gold highlighter, and I put it here in my shoulder bone, or shoulder bone collarbone <laughs> sorry i put it on my collarbone take a little more and then i put it on my shoulders and right here and it just makes you look very healthy and glowy i always do that just because our outfits we are always showing this area since the outfits are very tiny so and the other thing that i always bring with me is different lipsticks and they always have to be moisturizing. I never bring matte lipsticks because the stands do get like super busy and you're always talking, you're always smiling. So your mouth, it gets really dry and so do your lips and you do not want crusty lips. And sometimes you don't have time to touch up at all. So if you have a matte lipstick, it's just gonna get crusty and if you layer it, it's just not gonna look cute. And believe me, men notice. Yeah, so these are my three ones that I always bring with me. Honestly, I wear this one the most, which is literally just a chapstick with some tint in it. So this is from Sunbum Color Bonfire. This one's really nice because it's super moisturizing and I don't have to worry about getting that weird line on my lips. And it gives you a nice color and it has SPF. So this is my favorite one. And sometimes when I'm a little more glammed up, I use this one. This one's from Lime Crime. It's called Wet Cherry. This is like a tint, so I just like put it and then I'll like blot it with a paper and it just tints your lip so it looks really natural. These from NYX, they're butter glosses. They have so many colors and they're super cheap, like $6. So this is my favorite in the shade Angel Food Cake. So those are like the three that I switch around the most. And another makeup item that I always bring with me is my lash glue. This is really important because I have had times where my lashes start coming off and I forget lash glue. So I learned my lesson. Lashes do make all the difference in your makeup, especially when you're up that early. Like even though you wear so much makeup, your eyes still look tired. So if you don't have lashes, well, at least for me, like my eyes just look so tired. So this is really important because I had had times where I have forgotten it and then it's just a mess and I don't feel comfortable the whole day. I just feel like, oh my god, it looks so weird. And I use the black one. I don't know. I just like this better because that way you don't see the white line. Another essential is hair. That is something that sometimes I forget to do in the morning or I just don't have time. So I always bring a straightener and that is basically all you need because with a straightener you can curl your hair or you can straighten your hair with it. And so. also you want to smell good. I always bring different sprays. This is usually the ones that I bring all the time with me. So this is just like a simple body spray. It's not too strong because you don't want it to be too overpowering, right? Fresh sea salt mango. Um, and then I also bring all these perfumes, which I put at the beginning of my shift as well, just so it doesn't smell that overpowering. I go to Nordstrom and I get different samples. That way you don't have to pay so much for like one perfume. You could get like a ton. And this is like the equivalent of one perfume, but you're getting like a variety. I have all these different ones. Oh, I have all these different ones just for different moods. You know, sometimes you're feeling 
Like you want to smell fruity, sometimes you want to smell more sophisticated, I don't know. And also lotion. I don't want to look ashy. I've had times where I forget my lotion and my knees and my elbows are all ashy. So it's just good to have some lotion. That way you look nice and smooth and radiant. This one's my favorite. It's from Hemp's. And then also just a hand cream because your hands do get really dry being there because you're like washing your hands or washing dishes. Just like the whole process of doing coffee, it really dries out your hands. I would recommend an unscented one because since you are making the coffee, the moment you put the lid on the coffee, sometimes the smell gets in the lid and guys don't like that. Well, I mean, some do, but most of them don't, so it's kind of annoying. So I would just recommend doing an unscented one. Unfortunately, I only have this one, but whenever I put it on, I just like pat some of it off. Just like and I also carry with me body shimmers. I just like looking really sparkly at work. This is a body oil with shimmer. I actually think I like this one better just because it also moisturizes, it's not just glitter. Next on the list, outfits. Extra outfits are very, very important because you just never know. You might have some accident, like you're wearing a white lingerie and then you get coffee all over it and you need a new outfit. So that has happened to me. So it's good to have extra outfits. So I always just carry like little onesies. This one's really cute. I'm gonna actually wear this one for Valentine's Day. And this one. So some of these outfits are super complicated to put on. Like that's why I struggle so much in the morning to get ready. Like sometimes I'll have to wake up Enrique just so he can like help me put them on. Cause as you can see, look at this. So this is the front and then you have to tie all these straps in the back. All of these, like literally it has four sections of straps. So you definitely need like someone to help you with these. This one's really cute. I actually got this one from a customer. A new one and just like a regular basic black fishnet outfit. And another reason I do carry extra outfits with me, this might be a little weird and some people might find it a little gross, but there's some interesting men that pop up in these stands and a lot of them, they want to buy your used outfits. Obviously, like if you're gonna sell a used outfit, you're gonna need something to put on afterwards. Like you can't just be completely naked at work. Yeah, men will literally buy your used outfits for really good money. Like these outfits are probably like $10 max. They will buy it for like a hundred or sometimes more. For your outfit so it's just smart to bring extras because that is a good money opportunity and of course deodorant like i said it gets really busy and it is a workout when it's busy because you're constantly moving walking back and forth bending over it's a lot of work sometimes when it's not slow of course and you do tend to sweat a lot it's good to bring deodorant because you do not want to be sweaty and smell bad so always bring your deodorant with you and what else do we have here this compartment i guess is like my first aid so here i bring like tampons i always have that period tracker but sometimes it comes like way earlier I really never know and especially working here with those little outfits like that is so awkward having blood all over you right it's not gonna be cute so always important to have tampons and something that goes with the tampons i know this is weird scissors so since obviously you saw the outfits are really really tiny so it's really awkward having a tampon and then the string to come out. When I first started here, I would dread working on my period because I didn't know what to do. And then like one of the OG baristas, she had been there for so long. So she knew like all the little tips and tricks. She's like, you need to cut your tampon string. She's like, everybody here cuts their tampon string. So you, that way you don't have to worry. So yeah, I always bring my own scissors. I always bring some Advil or some type of like pain medication because sometimes I do have really bad headaches or sometimes I'll have cramps so it's good to bring some kind of medicine with you because it's not cute if you're like in a bad mood with your customers and I also bring with me oh hot sauce yeah people bring me food so I like my food with hot sauce and it really sucks when I <laughs> when they bring me the food and I have no hot sauce like some people know and they bring me like different salsas but sometimes they don't so I just always bring <laughs> my own hot sauce with it. and then last but not least this is for me the most important i never leave my house unless i have at least one of these so this is self-defense very very important because you do work alone and you do go in at 4 a.m so it's pitch dark outside um there's not really that much people on the street i've had a close call and if i didn't have one of these i'm sure like something bad would have happened to me but luckily i always mm -hmm. carry these things with me so i'm always prepared in case something happens and I think every woman should. So one of the first items that I have for defense is bear spray. I don't even have pepper spray because bear spray is 
way more intense this one i actually got from a customer i think he didn't know like i have all these other things to protect myself so he got me this but i i still appreciate it because this is good this will definitely stop someone that's trying to mess with you and usually you bring these with you if, like you go hiking or camping or something but it can be used on men as well and it always has a lock on it you don't take this off unless you're ready to use it so yeah these things are pretty pretty strong and also i have a taser this is from the brand saber i think that's what it is um so this one's really neat and compact it's super easy to charge so it doesn't require battery or anything you just literally click this lever right here or push it and then it's ready to charge it has an on and off button so let's turn it on so now you know it's on because the red light is on okay and then it has these two buttons so one is the flashlight which is really nice that way when you get out of your car and it's super dark you have a light you can see what's going on um so yeah it has the light and then if you're ready to attack someone's near you i didn't know this but obviously you have to like make sure it touches them so if i click like that's not going to do anything and i remember i used to think like that's how it was so yeah you literally just click it and that will scare them alone like they're probably not going to mess with you once they see like you have one of these highly recommend i don't know how much these cost but whatever the cost i think it's worth it and it's super cute and purple and then the last one i have this is probably the one that i make sure i have every single time and not just at work like i literally carry it with me if i go shopping or if i really go anywhere because nowadays you really don't know like society is so scary there's always shootings there's always something bad happening and i think it's good just to be prepared in this case because you could potentially save your life and a lot of people's lives so i think it's good to just get educated on it and always carry one with you so i always bring a gun with me to work and like i said i know a lot of people are against it because of gun violence and stuff but i think it's just smart to bring one because <clears throat> why only let the bad guys have it right so this is a nice one um it's super tiny so it fits perfectly in my pocket when I go into work because so when I get out of my car I make sure I keep this gun in the pocket and I have it and my hand is on it the whole time I'm like walking to the stand just so I know like I have it right there and I explained it in my last video my bikini barista Q&A how I had to use it I, I didn't shoot obviously but I just had to point it at someone who was running towards me so yeah this is the gun I use so it com comes in this just so like no accidents happen as you can see it blocks the trigger so then you take it out and it's ready never point it on anybody um this is a remington like i said super tiny it holds six clips in the mag and then one in the chamber and then to check if it has one in the chamber you simply click it there so it did have one in the chamber and now it's not in the chamber be very careful they are not toys um so yeah and then these bullets are like self-defense rounds these are not the ones that will go through you these are more like the ones that go in you and then they expand so they do a lot of damage um, i didn't always carry one at work but there was a time where there was a lot of break-ins happening and they were because girls were taking walk-ups so i got a lot of hate on my last video because i didn't take a walk-up i don't take walk-ups unless i've known that person like sometimes my customers who have come in cars they return walking um but when it's someone I don't know, I really get scared and I don't want to do it. And like I said, if there wasn't going to be a tip, I don't feel like it's worth. And a lot of the stands, you have your back to the person. So obviously if the guy is like a walk up, he's going to be able to get in the stand a lot quicker than if he's in a car. Be very aware, be very careful. And if you do bring one to work, I always make sure I don't have it out in the open. Just in case something does happen where someone does end up going in and I can't get it. That way they don't take it because you don't want someone taking your gun that would be really bad if they do and then they end up hurting someone with it and then that might be your fault as well and you don't want that to happen so when i put when i take it to work i always make sure i hide it somewhere somewhere that's really well hidden that i know where only i would know where it is but also somewhere that's easily accessible just in case i do need it like i can just like reach for it really quick without anybody like even suspecting it very careful if you do decide to get one make sure you take some classes make sure you get your license um and yeah just practice 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 really dangerous world out there people will take advantage of you and most men will not expect you to have a gun so i just think it's really good to have one um they will definitely not mess with you once they see that you have one that is basically it for my video you guys those are the main things that i always carry with me very important for me 
all of them but most importantly is the defense items for sure 100 percent so yeah i hope you guys found that helpful in case you're wanting to be a bikini barista or also just like having these things in your normal bag well maybe not all of them but a lot of these i think it's important to have in your personal bag because you never know right all right well thank you guys so much for watching uh and thank you to all the new subscribers i never in a million years thought i'd get like 13,000 subscribers i know it's like not a lot but to me that is a lot of people so thank you so much to each and every one of you thanks for all the love and support i'm going to try uploading once or twice a week um, I am only working like two to three days a week, which is really nice. So I'll have more time to upload. Also, if you want to follow me, I will link my normal Instagram and my Bikini Barista Instagram. So the normal one is like more family. And then Bikini Barista, obviously Bikini. That's where I like show my outfits and stuff. So yeah. And if you're in Washington and you're a girl and you want to come see me, that's totally fine. <laughs> as long as you too. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.